In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve two very interesting percentage concentration calculation questions which was asked by a viewer and we are starting right now. Hello, this is Dr. Damkwa and if this is your first time here and you like to learn pharmaceutical calculations, tips, tricks and strategies, then start by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. But let's get right to it. This question says a patient is to receive 100 milliliters of magnesium sulfate heptahydrate, which is 200 millimolar, over two hours. Calculate the volume of magnesium sulfate heptahydrate using a concentration of 50% weight by volume required to prepare this dose. The molecular weight of magnesium sulfate heptahydrate is 246.5 gram per mole and the molecular weight of magnesium is 24.3 gram per mole. So let's quickly analyze this question. The goal here is to determine the volume of magnesium sulfate heptahydrate and that comes as a concentration of 50% weight by volume. So I'm going to show you how to solve this question in four very straightforward easy steps and if you go through those steps you should arrive at the solution. Now the first thing we want to do or the first step is to determine the number of millimoles of magnesium sulfate heptahydrate which is present in the 100 milliliter solution. And so the way we'll do that is we'll make use of the concentration which is 200 millimolar and the volume which is 100 milliliters. So to determine the number of millimoles, the first thing we need to do is recall the equation that states that concentration is equal to your moles divided by the volume. And since we are interested in the number of millimoles, we can actually rearrange this equation to say that your moles is going to be equal to the concentration times the volume. Now here, our concentration is 200 millimolar, which implies that you have 200 millimoles per liter. So that's what the 200 millimolar represents. You have 200 millimoles per liter. So now we need to multiply this by the volume, but the volume has to be in liters as well for the units to cancel out. But what we have is 100 milliliters from the question. So we'll just do one additional step to convert it from milliliters to liters. And we make use of the conversion factor that a thousand milliliters is equivalent to one liter. So the milliliters cancels out and the zeros cancel out. And actually what you end up having, because the liters also cancel out, is 20 millimoles. So now the next thing that we are going to do, which is actually step two, is to determine in milligrams what 20 millimoles of magnesium sulfate actually is. And the way we do that is to make use of this equation where millimole is equal to the quantity in milligrams divided by the molecular weight. And so we can go ahead and substitute the values into this equation. And so we have 20 millimoles. And that's going to be equal to some quantity in milligrams divided by the molecular weight of magnesium sulfate heptahydrate, which is 246.5. It says grams per mole. But for our purposes, if you do the conversion, you can actually also use milligrams per millimole because you convert the grams to milligrams and then the millimoles, the most millimoles and it's the same as multiplying and dividing by a thousand. 
So I do go in depth as to how you actually do this con conversion in my mini equivalent calculation video. I'll put a link to that in the description and you can also check it in the cards. I'll place it in the cards as well. But nonetheless, that's the units that go with this particular molecular weight because of our equation. And so the next thing we need to do is go ahead and solve for the quantity in milligrams. So the quantity in milligrams is going to be equal to 20 millimole times 246.5 milligrams per millimole. So the millimoles cancel out and you actually end up with 4,930 milligrams. So the next thing we want to do is convert the 4930 milligrams to grams and this is actually our step three and the reason we are converting to grams is later on we are going to use the percentage concentration which was given in the question which is the 50 percent weight by volume and we will set up a proportion making use of the weight in grams that we calculate in this particular step to determine the volume of magnesium sulfate heptahydrate that is needed to prepare the dose so what that would look like actually is we'll take the 4930 milligrams and we'll convert that to grams making use of the conversion factor that 1000 milligrams is equivalent to one gram so the milligrams cancel out and you end up with 4.93 grams so the next thing we want to do, which is step four, is to set up a proportion using the percentage concentration information given in the question to determine the volume. And so we have 50% weight by volume, which implies that we have 50 grams of magnesium sulfate heptahydrate in 100 milliliters of solution. What we want to do is figure out what volume will be required to give 4.93 grams. So we can determine that volume to be X, use X as our variable. And then when we solve for X, it will give us the volume that we are interested in. So we can make X the subject of the equation. So X is going to be equal to 4.93 grams times 100 milliliters divided by 50 grams the grams cancel out and you end up with 9.86 milliliters let's take a look at the second question and the question says an IV infusion of 50 milliliters 8.4 percent sodium bicarbonate is administered via a central line over 10 to 20 minutes Calculate the amount of sodium in millimole in the 50 milliliter IV infusion. Molecular weight of sodium is 23 grams per mole and molecular weight of sodium bicarbonate is 84 grams per mole. So here our goal is to determine the amount of sodium in millimole in the 50 milliliter IV infusion. So I'm going to show you how you can do that in three easy steps. So here the first thing we want to do is to make use of the percentage concentration of sodium bicarbonate which has been given in the question to determine the amount of sodium bicarbonate which is present in the 50 milliliter IV infusion. So the way that would look like is we'll start off with the 8.4% sodium bicarbonate concentration which implies that you have 8.4 grams of sodium bicarbonate present in every 100 milliliter of solution but what we have is an IV infusion which is 50 milliliters so we want to determine the quantity in grams that is present in the 50 milliliter IV infusion so we can go ahead and solve for X which is our unknown here and X is going to be equal to 8.4 grams times 50 milliliters divided by 100 milliliters and that gives 4.2 grams now because we are interested in calculating millimoles 
what we want to do is convert the grams to millimoles. So we're going to go ahead and take the 4.2 grams and convert that to milligrams using the conversion factor that one gram is equivalent to a thousand milligrams. The grams cancel out and you end up with 4,200 milligrams. So here, the next thing we want to do, which would be our step two, is we want to make use of the 4,200 milligrams together with the molecular weight of sodium bicarbonate to actually determine the millimoles that quantity represents. So we'll be making use of the equation which says that the amount in millimole is equal to the quantity in milligrams divided by the molecular weight. So that's going to be equal to the 4,200 milligrams divided by the molecular weight of sodium bicarbonate which is going to be equal to 84 milligrams per millimole. Now notice that in the question it tells you gram per mole, but when you go ahead and convert the grams to milligrams and the moles to millimoles, you're going to have a thousand in the numerator and a thousand in the denominator and those two numbers will cancel out. So you end up with the same numeric value, but then the units will be milligrams per millimole. And I do go exhaustively into how you can do that in the milli equivalents video, which I talked about in the previous question. So once again, just check the link in the description and you'll be able to do this more comfortably. But the trick is anytime you want to convert from gram per mole to milligram per millimole, you can keep the numeric value the same, but then the units will change. But having said that, once you divide the 4,200 milligrams by the 84 milligram per millimole, what you end up having is 50 millimole. But notice that this 50 millimole is the millimoles of sodium bicarbonate. Now the question is asking for amount of sodium in millimole. So what we want to do for completeness is to determine the molar ratio between sodium bicarbonate and sodium when the sodium bicarbonate dissociates. And so what that would look like is you will take the sodium bicarbonate And when you put that in an aqueous environment, it dissociates to a sodium cation and a bicarbonate anion. Now, if you take a look at the stoichiometry of this equation, you have one mole of sodium bicarbonate giving you one mole of sodium. Or you have one millimole of sodium bicarbonate giving you one millimole of sodium. And so the molar ratio, that's the number of moles of sodium bicarbonate to the number of moles or millimoles of sodium is a one to one ratio. So what it means is once we've determined the millimoles of sodium bicarbonate is essentially going to be equal to the millimoles of sodium. But for completeness, we can make use of this molar ratio and say then that since we have 50 millimoles, then what would be the millimole of sodium? So we can go ahead and solve for X here, which would be our unknown, and X is going to be equal to one times 50 millimole divided by one, and that will give you 50 millimole of sodium so i hope you found this video tutorial useful if you did be sure to like it and share it and if you have any questions leave them in the comments and i'll get to them as soon as i see them if you like to learn more pharmaceutical calculations tips tricks and strategies then start by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video